What's up guys? So, it's Mike back here with uh, another type of review slash, uh, I guess, yeah, we'll just call it a review. So today we got the Odyssey Slim by 4 brake pads. Um, I currently have these on my uh, Frame Team BMX bike uh, that I am doing a conversion on to a race bike. I needed better brake pads and it has black anodizing on them. So there's usually two different types of rims. You've got you know, the standard rim brake uh, with the chrome or call it chrome, silver, but there's no paint or anodizing or powder coating, whatever you wish to call it on them. So uh, those you can basically use black pads. They're medium to hard compound, you know, like kind of like what you see on like old school mountain bikes, entry level mountain bikes or, you know, Walmart bikes. But um, today we're not talking about that. Uh, we are talking about these. So these are clear brake pads. Uh, these are meant to be used on uh, black anodized rims. Uh, these are really soft. Uh, so unfortunately the side effect of soft brake pads is squealing or squeaking. However, you gotta tow these in and they have minimal squeaking. Uh, but I would say uh, the brake pads that came on my bike were not the best in the world. They literally slowed you down. I even tried sanding them down. Uh, they weren't the best. Uh, I read online that these are pretty good, but uh, let me see if I can get them to do it. But listen to this. Oh, I can't get it to do it. But um, my review of them, uh, I sat there, I rode around for them. I rode them in dirt and everything. Uh, I got them relatively quiet as long as you tow them in, meaning that they go in like this. You have to have a lot of tow on these, uh, which is okay, but however, these grab the wheel and stop. Uh, what's the cool thing about these pads is that, you know, I love me some stickers. Give me all the stickers you can. You got the Odyssey sticker. Of course, uh, I'll go ahead and it is morning. I can't really do it outside. I don't want to wake up the neighbors, but uh, I'll go ahead and put these down and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my bike. And maybe you guys can kind of get an idea of what it is. Well, let's see, dude. I'm gonna pull it out. I've got my bike collection, my mountain bike, and everything. Trail bike, actually. Big in the mountain bike. Absolutely love it. Let's see if we can get this to recreate it. So, here's sweet. Oh, I won't do it. But yeah, so, if you guys can see it up here, you can see the clear on them. Sorry, doing this in the garage today, uh, before the kids wake up, you know? But these are not bad brake pads. The reviews uh, all over the internet say, oh, they squeal like crazy. Well, they're not set up properly. They're only gonna squeak. So squeak when I say, it's gonna sound like you got a mouse in your bike for like two seconds until they fully grab, which is not bad. Me growing up, riding bikes early 2000s, riding BMX early 2000s, uh, I mean, I had a Diamondback, I forget what exact model it was, but it was a uh, racing bike. Um, so it had a uh, had a V-brake on it, or a linear pull, whatever you want to call it. So uh, you really don't have issues with those ones. And of course, it had the, the chrome, well, the silver uh, rim and everything. So I really didn't have that. But however, on my freestyle growing up, Squeaky brakes were the thing. When you rode freestyle or dirt or anything, you always had a little bit of a squeak to it. It's just the nature of it. Uh, so don't get discouraged by that. Odyssey is a name brand that has been around since I was a kid. And you gotta understand, I'm 32 years old. Wait, am I 32? No, I'm 31. So let's restart that. Um, but other than that, this is good. See, got my sticker right there. Put it right there on the seat. I was like, yeah, we'll run this out. But, uh, more updates to come. Uh, like I said, I've got a uh, a new salt sealed crank I'm gonna be doing a review on. Uh, I got this off Dance Comp. I uh, put it on my, uh, I've already got one. It's like a one 55 millimeter crank arm. Um, one I'm installing on my uh, son's bike uh, that we're converting. Uh, he's got a, uh, a framed impact 18 inch uh, that it's also a dirt jumper. Uh, but we're converting the gearing over to, uh, I think it's, we're doing a 41 sprocket and it comes with a standard 14 tooth freewheel on the back. So it ends up coming out to 51 or 52 uh, 
I forget the actual. If you look on gearing measurements, it does that. I'm, I'm all new to the gear measurements because I actually work on mountain bikes, and it's like, oh, you got one by with a cassette on it, either like one to six, all the way to one to twelve. Uh, but we're getting distracted here. But yeah, check out for some gnarly vids. I'm gonna be shredding this thing at the uh, Capital City BMX Race Shack in Raleigh, NC. So, uh, you know, midlife crisis time. But getting back into YouTube, I cannot wait to shred this thing. I really didn't do like a full review on this thing. Uh, I did like a quick one just to get it out there because I saw not many people. Actually, there was like no videos on YouTube or anything like that about this bike. And me getting back into BMX, it's it, this was a perfect bike. And I, dude, go buy this bike. I'm gonna say I'm not sponsored, not anything. I just love bikes. As you can see, I literally got a mountain bike. I got literally a total of, in my house between me and my son, we've got a total of five bikes. He's got two, I've got three. I've got a mountain bike, BMX bike, and uh, a road bike that I do. Uh, and he's of course got his own uh, trail bike and he's got his BMX bike. So, thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. There's more to come. I'm still pretty amateur at this. I haven't done YouTube uh, in quite a while. And uh, so, but hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more, man.